So essentially, that's how you get a new language called TypeScript that you can use to run web applications, just like you would with JavaScript, but with some cool new features. So what does this new language contain? What does this consist of? TypeScript happens to be just JavaScript plus some additional features. It contains types, uh, which is why it gets the name TypeScript. There is a concept of typing that doesn't exist in JavaScript, but TypeScript provides that concept. And that's very handy, as you can tell from the subsequent videos. You can create types, declare types, and uh, make sure that type checking happens during the TypeScript compilation process. You also have some other stuff, and we're gonna be covering some of those features uh, in addition to types. But the essential thing to remember is that TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. TypeScript contains some syntax features that you can put into JavaScript code, but they're all optional. If you just write JavaScript code, some, a valid JavaScript code is valid TypeScript code. You don't have to use any of the TypeScript features. So it's not like a switch. It's like, you, are you writing TypeScript or are you writing JavaScript? It's kind of like a dial. You can just write JavaScript and it's valid TypeScript. You can add a little bit of TypeScript feature, it's still valid TypeScript. You can add every TypeScript feature there is, that's still valid TypeScript, all right? So it's kind of like syntactic sugar on top of JavaScript. Another thing that happens with TypeScript is it kind of includes some of the new developments in the JavaScript programming language. So JavaScript is continuously evolving. There are new features that are being introduced. Example, you have a let keyword, which addresses the scoping problem with variable declarations in JavaScript. You have arrow functions, which are shorter and terser way of writing functions in JavaScript. All these are features that are coming to JavaScript. They are in some of the newer versions of JavaScript. But here's the thing. You cannot use them confidently if you want your application to be deployed across multiple browsers, because there's no saying if the, all the browsers that your audience is using supports those features. These are new JavaScript features, so probably the new browsers support them. What about the old browsers? They wouldn't work. So while JavaScript is evolving and there are new features being introduced, you cannot confidently use them. You always have to be careful. But here's the thing. TypeScript takes care of that for you. In your TypeScript code, you can use some of the newer JavaScript features, and TypeScript does the conversion for you. It uses some kind of an equivalent in pure JavaScript, native JavaScript, which is addressing the older versions. So you can write something like an arrow function and run it through the TypeScript compiler, and TypeScript is gonna convert it to a standard function. I'm gonna showcase that in a subsequent video. But the idea is TypeScript consists of JavaScript, the old classic JavaScript, which is deployed across all browsers, which is called ES5. Uh, it also contains some of the new features of JavaScript, ES6, ES7, and it also contains the TypeScript features. So it's a lot of cool stuff that you can use in your code without having to worry about whether it's gonna work or not because TypeScript takes care of the conversion. So TypeScript makes building complex applications easier because of a whole lot of features, because of type checking, because of things that it does to make sure that programmers don't make certain mistakes. It's uh, useful a lot of different frameworks, especially Angular. The newer versions of Angular, Angular 2 onwards, use TypeScript extensively. And you can technically write code in JavaScript and uh, Angular, but it's a bit tougher. It's much more easier to write code using TypeScript. So Angular is a very good use case. You want to learn Angular, you might want to learn TypeScript as well. And many more frameworks might use it in the future. React is another community which is adopting TypeScript increasingly these days. You can write elegant React applications using TypeScript as well. So a lot more reasons to use and uh, learn and use TypeScript.